1,800, 3,200-meter training, <clears throat> base training, what does it look like? Every week, do a long run, roughly 20% of the weekly mileage. I recommend throwing in some easy striders, particularly after you've done it for a month or so. Okay? 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Just six to 12 of them, loosen up your legs, it's a real good way. Um, to change up your mechanics a little bit. Sometimes it puts a little pep in your step and you feel better, okay? I do recommend you do it over hilly train, but if you haven't done hills, you need to gradually introduce them. And uh, Drew's in the background. How many times did you do a long run over hilly terrain in high school? Every weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> it adds up, okay? One type of run over hilly run or hilly terrain each week, I recommend that. What does that mean? Well, early on in base training, probably 20 to 30 minutes of tempo running at roughly two mile speed with plus about 50 or 60 seconds. And then after that, do some short hills of 10 to 20 seconds in the area of 800 to 1600 meter race effort. Not their speed, because you don't know how fast they can run up the hill, but you can go by effort, right? As a general rule, that's 75 to 82 and a half percent of your maximum sprint speed. Okay? Most people cannot run faster than 75% of their maximum sprint speed during a mile. Most cannot. Unless they have extraordinary stamina from CV training, which is why you need to do it. Okay? What else is in base training? One threshold or CV workout each week. What does that mean? Reps of three to six minutes in duration. If you're at the CV end, you'll do three minute reps. If you're at the threshold run end, you'll be closer to six minute reps. They're equivalent, okay? Several ways of doing the same thing, achieving the same objective. After you do the CV reps, then you do some striders. You can do them in the 15 to 30 second range. Um, during base phase training, if you do them at two mile racing speed, that's probably good enough. <clears throat> if you do them uh, if it's later in the base phase and you've been doing base work for eight or ten weeks, you might do uh, um, 15 second reps at closer to one mile racing speed, so maybe even 800 meter speed. All right, and I usually like to do three layers during the uh, base training. The first was the CV or uh, threshold, second was longer striders or hills, and finally you'll do really short reps that are quick. And uh, I love three speeds. I really love three speeds in workouts because I think it teaches you mechanics in a variety of ways. Then you no longer become a one pace runner when you get in a race and get dropped. Uh, you can shift gears. You should eliminate the long run the week of the state meet or the national championship, generally speaking. Once in a while, you're gonna have to make a compromise. You'll say to yourself, you know what? I don't know if Sarah's gonna qualify for the state meet. This week's a qualifying race. I might have to eliminate the long run. I know it's too early, but we can't ever have tired legs going into this qualifying meet. And you just gotta do it. I always say cut it back one third. If they normally do 90 minute run, cut it back to 60 minute run. If they normally do a 60 minute run, cut it back to 40 minutes. That's good enough to maintain endurance. Peak week, what else? Prescribe an abbreviated workout. There are multiple ways of doing it. You can do threshold or CV followed by a short time trial, which is my favorite, which is a spin-off of Lydiard. Okay? Lydiard didn't do any of the threshold or CV ahead of time. I do, why? Because not only do I want to maintain stamina, I also want them, uh, the athlete to be thoroughly warmed up. Because anybody who's worked with me knows these guys in the back will attest to it. If you start doing threshold or CV type stuff or tempo even, which is a little slower but longer, prior to anything high quality, you want it much better. You feel much better. Okay? But, does the abbreviated workout have to be what I suggest? Which is something like that? Or could it be something else that you love? It could be something else that you'd love to do. Let's say you normally prescribe six times 800 meters at two mile race effort. That's a workout that you've used for 20 years as a coach. You love it. It's worked. Well, should you prescribe that the week of the state meet? I kind of doubt it. How, how about prescribing three reps instead of six? Make sense? Right? 
If you're an 800, if you're coaching an 800 meter runner, you might use the same concept, right? Maybe you normally prescribe four times 400 meters at their 800 meter race speed, and you give them a four minute or five minute recovery, which is totally normal training for 800 meters. Well, maybe the week of the state meet, you only assign two, right? Just enough to get the job done, just enough to maintain the feel for the speed, and not enough to tire them out. Make sense? Okay. Recovery training is basically after the season's over. What does it entail? What do I recommend? What does research show? Basically, research shows after five days, you start really losing a lot of fitness. Mitochondrial enzymes erode get as much as 30% after seven days of no training. 30 days, 30%, 30 that's a lot. Remember, the mitochondrial enzymes are huge in terms of being able to process oxygen, right? You lose blood volume big time, you start dropping out your plasma volume, therefore, your heart has to rapidly, uh, beat more rapidly to circulate what blood you do have. Your VO2 max drops because your blood volume drops. So, what do I recommend? Well, take five to seven days off completely, okay, and then start back into jogging and striders and stuff like that.